What is up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's vlog, we're gonna be talking about how TD Bank, as you see behind me here, literally ruined my life and why you should stop banking with them if you currently are or never bank with them if you're thinking about it. So stay tuned for the entire video and all the juicy details. Let's go. All right, so as you all can see, TD Bank behind me is, um, well, needless to say, not my favorite banking institution. They are probably my least favorite of all. This location actually right behind me was one of the ones that actually the employees did help me out the most, but it was the employees that worked at the actual branch. The manager that was at this location originally was awesome. The manager and her staff were amazing. There was a gentleman here, I cannot remember his name, but he was amazing. What happened was somebody on my job site stole my wallet, which had my driver's license and my bank card. The only two things in it. They stole that, went to a, not the branch, a TD branch, and they told them that they were transgender and that they did not know anything about the account. But the reason they did not look like me is because they were transgender. So the person, the teller working, decided that they were going to choose feelings over my financial protection and they decided to give out a brand new card to this person who claimed they were transgender and gave them full access which allowed them to get loans which allowed them to get multiple things under my name because keep in mind i don't know about anywhere else in the world but here in canada to get loans from other institutions to get loans from anywhere else it is my understanding that you need a bank account to start that process so by them allowing them a brand new access card, by allowing them to change the passwords, by allowing them to do all this, it initiated a landslide, an avalanche of consequences that came from this. Needless to say, my life, my financial life, everything that I was trying to do and progress was fucked. They got over 20 grand worth in loans and the only way they got caught was because a car salesman at an Audi dealership wanted to see the type of vehicle that they were trading and they proclaimed that they were going to trade in my fucking truck. They said they were trading in my vehicle. They didn't even know the make, the model. All they knew was that a black truck. So the guy looked at my name on Facebook, the car dealership, looked at my name on Facebook because he thought it was kind of odd that, you know, they didn't know it. And most people that he's dealt with have had a picture of their vehicle at some point on social media. So he looked on Facebook and he saw a picture I posted with my face recently and this person's trying to say they're transgender. So it raised a bunch of red flags. He decided to call me through Facebook Messenger. He called me and I explained to him the story that I'm explaining to you guys. He told me that there's someone in here right now and asked me if I should get the cops involved. I said, hell yes, get the cops involved. So he got the cops involved. What happened was they did an undercover sting. They actually, I couldn't be there, which sucked, but they didn't want it for, you know, uh, personal reason they didn't want me to escalate this situation anymore um, anything further to happen so they caught the guy red hand handed trying to trade in my truck that he had no idea about he told him it was a Ford I drive a Dodge um, also didn't have any pictures out of it didn't know anything out of it but they were willing to take the trade uh, for an Audi and as he was signing the paperwork for the Audi that's when they caught him red handed because it was two officers that staged themselves undercover as the Audi dealers. Uh, they caught him red hand handed and he had a booklet of all my information, which is red hand, like suspicious enough. You're flipping through pages. What's your birthday, sir? Um, oh, here it is. Like, th does that not raise red flags? So needless to say, this issue ruined my life. And what TD did following this is even worse. The worst part of it all was that TD Bank, they knew that it would take a long time. They knew that it was a process, but they also knew that if it took me longer than two years to take legal action towards them, that they would be off the hook from any legal action or any prosecution that I could lay towards them. Me, as the average person, as the average citizen, not knowing the legal ins and outs of all this kind of stuff, of financials and everything, I was unaware of this until I actually got a financial team, got a lawyer who looked into it, found that out. By this time though, it was already too late. I had done multiple things to try and get the ball rolling. However, at every step I fucking took, 
TD Bank had prolonged everything. They had told, when I contacted the police department, they told me that TD was still doing an ongoing investigation, which could take an upward of undisclosed amount of time. So there was no timeline, no definite timeline on which this was going to be solved in. It was a matter of TD's discretion. So they took their sweet time knowing that if I didn't do anything, didn't sue them, didn't take action legally within two years, I would be fucked. Everywhere I went told me it takes time, it takes time. And me knowing that the government, knowing that anything to do with anything to do, financials, government, takes time. I do understand this. However, I didn't know how much time. At a year, I was contacting the police department being like, what's going on? Can I get more information, more information? They kept telling me I was not allowed to get more information because it's an ongoing investigation. I have paperwork and emails stating this, saying that it's an ongoing investigation. Even though they caught the guy red-handed. They staged an undercover sting, caught the guy red-handed, and it's still an ongoing investigation as to what? So my next step was to try and get a record of my credit, a record of my credit, and report what is fraudulent, what was not, so I could get it off my credit report, so I could actually start to live a better life. They won't release that to me because there was a account made under my name with complete bullshit, so this guy obviously made an account through the credit bureaus and all that kind of stuff to try and get more credit or try and see where it's at at least, and now because the information that I have doesn't match that information, I can't get anything. So it's harder for me to correct the shit that this guy has done than it is for him to do any of it. Even though I had security measures in place with TD Bank, because I had lost my card so many times that I had things in place. Like, let me show you this. I had things in place to call, like they had to say the word comics. And I got the word because there's a comic store right fucking there. Right fucking there. No one would guess that I would have the word for a password as comics but the bank is right beside it. So I was in her office in the corner suite that's got the window that stares out to this street. I saw comics on that sign right, where's my finger? Right there, where you can barely see it, where it says comics, it says comics on the whole thing. That's where I got it. So I said that because no one would guess it. And these people still, even though I had this stuff set in place, still let my, my information go. And I don't give a crap if you're transgender. I don't give a crap if you're gay. I don't give a crap about anything you want to do with your life. I do not give a crap. Oh my God, that is awesome. Look at this. That is fucking beautiful. That lady couldn't get across the street because of a wheelchair. She was struggling and he got out of his truck and held up. That's a fucking solid dude. That's fucking solid, man. It's fucking solid. So now what I'm left with is picking up the pieces. They're telling me there's nothing I can do. Legally, there's nothing I can do to correct it. The only thing that I can actually do to save myself is just fix the damage, fix the holes, and move on. Which sucks. This is a tough pill to swallow, I'll admit. Um, not that I was hoping to get money. I just, it really fucking bothers me when people do something evil, do something corrupt, do something wrong, break rules. And I mean, all rules are meant to be broken in some way, shape, or another. There's a gray area to everything. But when people fuck over someone else, I am a strong believer that that's when those actions should be held accountable for. Like, if you ruin someone's life, if you fuck over someone's financials to this extent, where it's pushed projects me and my girlfriend had back, it's pushed things that me and her had planned, travel plans, it's pushed... Like, I have to use her bank account and put my checks into there from any business. Anything I earn has to go into her bank account because I can't even get a bank account in my name. I can't touch a bank account. I can't do anything because there's red flags on my name across the country because of this. And it's three years later. Now, yes, granted, I can wait the seven years and we wiped off my credit, but do I want to be in my late 30s dealing with this still? In my late 30s, just getting a life? Like, all for something someone else did. I understand if I gave out my information. I understand if I fucked up and did this. But someone literally stole my wallet went to the bank and the bank handed it out the bank teller now i don't know if i can go after the teller themselves because at the end of the day it, it's quote unquote no one but her fault because she's the one who essentially did it but she's the representation of td bank she's the person who is in charge of that right now and like her whole thing was that they came in saying they were transgender they came in saying that 
they knew nothing about the account, but since they're transgender, can I still get stuff anyways? This is why I don't look like the person. because as I'm going through a trans- transition. And she, show- she, she chose feelings over finances. She decided that it was okay to hand out my banking information to someone who had no business having that because they were transgender. That's the same as me being the bouncer at a club, a nightclub, knowing that you need to be 18 years old or 21 in some places to get into the club. But you telling me you're a goddamn bird, and me being like, oh, okay, well, the age thing doesn't matter then. You know, like, I still need to know you're of age to get in here. I don't care if you're a bird. I don't care if you're a uh, fucking flag. I don't care if you're a rock. I don't care if you're a vehicle. Like, you still have to be 18 years old or 21, depending on where you are, to get in this club. So, I need to know that. You need to show me ID that proves that. You can't just come into the bank and say, oh, I'm transgender. Well, do you know anything about the account? No, but I don't look like them because I'm transgender. Oh, well, okay, here's, here's a new card. Like, what level does that make sense? What level does that make sense? It does not make sense a lick to me. But yet, here I am dealing with the problem, dealing with the pieces, trying to pick this all up and organize it, sort it out and figure it out. I don't think it should be my fault. However, it's now my responsibility. My goal is that this never happens to anyone again. My goal is that TD can somehow be held responsible or at least know that these actions have taken place because every time you try and contact someone from their office, someone from head office or anything, the only numbers you get, the only emails you get, bring you right back to your local branch. So there's no way to contact the head office, no way to contact anyone in charge. And when they do contact you, you get the run around and they start sending you emails that lead to nowhere that literally bring you back to your local branch which is super frustrating when they're the ones that can be the gatekeeper to your financials. You trust them with everything. Like I've been with them since I was 16. That's the traveling part. I was there. My grandfather took me to get my first bank account when I was 16. And they've been great to me for the most part until that. And it's not like this is a small problem. It's not like this is something that you can brush off and, you know, someone punched in the wrong address and your mail got sent somewhere else. No, this is actually $20,000 worth of debt that I did not accumulate. $20,000 worth of debt that is now holding me back from living my life at 31 years old. I'm now stuck trying to pick up the pieces and rebuild my life, rebuild the credit for me and my girlfriend to build a life that we've been working towards that we've been struggling for that I've struggled my entire life to to build my entire twenties working hard as fuck doing construction work to build a life that these people can destroy in minutes and then not be held responsible for. So I encourage anyone who sees this. I encourage anyone who watches this. I encourage anyone who can help me in any way, shape or form. Stop dealing with TD bank. Stop messing around with them. Don't even put your financials at risk. These people do not care about you. There are some people who work at the branches who actually do. But the people who run this place, this is for most banks, but I can talk specifically for TD Bank. They do not care about you. They do not want the best for you. They do not want you to succeed. All they're looking for is to make their next dollar off of you. All they're looking for is to build their business. Because keep in mind, guys, every single bank like this is a goddamn business. Every single bank is in business to make money. The way they make money is off of you putting your money in here, you trusting them. And by you trusting them, you're putting yourself at risk. Look what happened to me. Look at, I'm 31 years old. By the time this is all resolved, I'll be in my late thirties. At that point, I have to start from zero. And at that point I can start rebuilding my life. At that point I can become the person I've been working towards my entire life all because they made a mistake and they aren't going to be held responsible for it. It's on me. I'm responsible for it now. It's kind of frustrating to say the least. It's kind of annoying, but If anyone is built to withstand it and go through it and endure it, it is me. I'm strong. I'm resilient. I'm capable to figure it out. The only thing is I don't want you guys to fall victim to. I don't want you guys to suffer the same way I did because of a mistake that someone they hired did. And you can break it down like I have. I've broken it down to every level where is the bank responsible? Is the teller responsible? Well, did they train her enough to know what to do? Was she qualified enough? And at that, that point, then it falls back on the bank. But at the same time, was it her ethical or quote unquote logical sense that she thought in her head, I don't want to ask questions because this is a touchy subject, which like we talked about earlier, you definitely should. If I'm going to let you into a club, you have to be a certain age for, I need to verify you're that age. I don't care if you're a dog. I don't care if you're a bird. You have to be a certain fucking age. If you're not, I'm not letting you in. Same thing as this. If you're not this person and you already have safety measures and security measures set in place and passwords and codes, I should be able to ask you these things. I should know the steps. And if then not, then it falls back on TD for not training their employees properly. 
So it can go both ways, but either way, someone besides myself should be held responsible for that. And since they're not, I encourage everyone who sees this video to spread the word. If you know someone who's been fucked over by TD, leave it down in the comments and maybe we can make some change. Maybe we can make something positive out of this really shitty negative or at least stop you from dealing with this place and going through the same thing. Because the only way that I can do anything and help anyone or actually make a difference or something positive from this is by spreading the word, letting people know, and hopefully I can stop this from ha happening to anyone else, at best, even one other person. So appreciate you guys from viewing. If you are getting value from my videos, share them, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe. It would mean the world to me as it helps me reach more people, create better content, and do this for full time. Much love, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. And don't fuck with TD.